Okay, we are recording a learn to use packet tracer and we will be designing creating a logic network diagram with two PCs and a hub. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to grab a couple computers. And then we are going to grab a hub. And then we are going to use copper, straight copper through. And you just click on it and then click the p first PC. Click Ethernet. Click the hub. Click zero for zero PC. Click. Uh, the cable again, click the uh, PC1, click Ethernet, and then click the hub again for port 1. And then we are going to change the name, oh, just one click, and then we will click fig, change the name of the PC, just backspace after you clicked on it, backspace. and then you're going to click subnet mask, it'll pop up automatically. And then I'll exit out. And then do the same thing with the PC1 and change the name. PCB. Then I'll click Ethernet Fast and go IP address and type in. You don't want them to be the same. And then click the subnet mask and it popped that up. I stop the simulation and the the real time tab will pop up this is the real time tab and then uh, we will go down to edit filters so we'll click edit filters and we'll click uh, none we don't want any of these to come up and then we'll click uh, ARP and then ICMP and we'll just click off of that and then I'll just pop those two up and then after that we will pick up a simple PDU folder or envelope so just click that once and then we just go over here and click right on the PC. And then we go back from PCA. That's the one I just clicked. And then we'll click on PCB. And now, after I've done that, note the nation. And so what they're talking about is this one here. We go to the right. It'll speed it up, slow it down. So we click uh, autoplay capture. It's going at an average speed, so we want to go a little bit faster. And it'll go a little bit faster. And now the other one is going. That is the ICMP. And now we are going to click Reset Simulation. Notice that the ARP envelope no longer presents this, is no longer present. This has reset the simulation but has not cleared any configuration changes or dynamic table entries. Such as the ARP table entries, the ARP request is not necessary to complete the ping command because the PCA already has the MAC address in the ARP table. Choose the Capture Forward button. The ICMP envelope will move from the source to the hub and stop. So we'll do that real quick. And moves from the source to the, to the hub and stops. 
then ar ar uh, allow you to run the simulation one step at a time. Continue selecting the capture feed forward button until the complete the event. So we'll click it again and it goes back to the hub and then back to the source. And then the little check represents it's done. Now we'll choose the power cycle device the button on the bottom left above the device icon. So that's this one here. And I will just click that and an error will appear as you can see and we will click yes and now both the ICMP and the ARP envelopes are present again reset network button will clear any configuration changes not saved and will clear all dynamic tables entries such as the ARP and MAC table entries. Now we will choose the auto capture play button. Repopulates the ARP table on the PC. So what we'll do is we'll play, press that and you can watch it. And it's replubbished this bar up here and we'll wait for it to get done now it's done so then we will select the magnifying glass and make sure you click the PC and not the envelope and we will click on the ARP table hopefully it's done Yes, it is. And we get the PCB's IP address along with its hardware address and, inter and the interface, the fast ethernet that's what it's connected to. We'll click that one off. And we'll go to the other one, do the same thing. And then we get the PCA address and its hardware address through the fast ethernet. And we'll log off to that one. And then, after doing that, we will select the tool on the right vertical toolbar. This is the first icon presented in the toolbar. So we will click this. And we will go to the first PC. We'll click desktop. We'll click command prompt. And we'll click ARP space dash, or not dash, uh, another space, or whatever you want to call it, dash, or whatever. And then A. And hit enter, pops up the IP address for PCB. And we'll close that one out. And then we will, uh, Click the other computer, PCB, and we'll click its desktop and its command prompt and type in the same thing ARP space dash A, and it comes up with uh, the PCA's. Uh, the uh, internet address and the physical address and then I will check and I will exit out of that and I will check the results and we have completed this activity and this is everything we've done Then our hub port, PCA, PCB, Ethernet for A and B, and we got 12 out of 12. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.